Choose your side and get ready to fight. It's time to put your skills to the test in the battle for the Sea of Thieves. Explore thrilling new locations and earn some incredible cosmetics. So load the cannons and sharpen your cutlass as we explore the depths of Sea of Thieves Season 8. Season 8, you'll be able to opt into on-demand PvP combat, duking it out in explosive ship battles that all take place in the shared world of adventure. You'll be fighting for one of two opposing factions, the Guardians of Fortune, who are loyal to the Pirate Lord and his allies, and the Servants of the Flame, who pledge themselves to Flameheart and the Reaper's Bones. Crews who join either faction can choose to represent them while either going about their normal pirate business, or actively hunting and sinking ships of the opposing faction. And this all begins with the Hourglass of Fate. Found on the captain's table of each ship, you and your crew can use it to choose which faction you wish to fight for. They'll be warned. By voting to represent a faction, a crew is effectively marking themselves as ready and willing to engage in PvP combat. This means that you can be actively hunted by ships of the opposing faction. But if you want to go on the offensive and hunt opposing faction ships yourself, then look no further than the war map on the captain's table. Use it to seek out a foe, and then dive below the waves. As you glide through the murky waters far below, you'll scour the seas for a worthy match. You can use this time to ensure you and your ship are ready for the battle ahead. And once an opponent has been found, you'll ascend from the depths and burst out from below the waves. The opposing faction ship will be directly ahead of you. So ready the guns, and let battle commence! Both you and your foe will be placed within a designated battle area, which is visible on your ship's map. If you stray out of bounds, the hourglass of fate will start to become unstable, and you'll see a warning urging you to return to the fight. If you continue to leave the area, your hourglass will be destroyed, sinking your ship, and your opponent will be declared victorious. Winning battles by sinking opposing faction ships will reward you in several ways. Each successful battle will make your hourglass of fate more valuable, so the more ships you can sink, the more gold you receive when you vote to leave the battle at an outpost. You'll also earn Allegiance. This represents the deeds you've done on behalf of either faction, similar to the experience you earn for the trading companies. If you're able to sink multiple foes in a row without being sunk yourself, you will start to build up an Allegiance streak. As the streak gets larger, so too does the Allegiance you'll earn from your victories. Reaching an Allegiance streak of four will mark you as a faction champion and your position will be displayed on the map table for all to see. Defeating a faction champion earns you slightly more allegiance and a lot more hourglass value than would normally be awarded. So you can expect to find courageous crews heading your way to try their hand at sending you to the ferry. Faction champions can also choose to hunt crews larger than their own. So if you're an ambitious solo slipper ready to prove yourself, this is the perfect way to test your mettle against some more fearsome foes. Though sinking ships isn't the only way to earn allegiance. When you bring treasure aboard a faction ship, you'll gradually increase your treasure grade. 
The more valuable the item you bring aboard is, the more your treasure grade will increase. And if you can successfully defend against and defeat rival faction ships while this treasure is on board, you'll earn even more allegiance for each ship sunk. When you leave the battle by voting at an outpost, your current treasure grade will increase the amount of allegiance you receive. You can even choose to sail as an emissary while also representing your faction, potentially netting even greater rewards. The higher your emissary grade, the more your hourglass of fate will be worth when you choose to leave your faction. However, choosing this style of play will make you an even more valuable target for ships from the opposing faction, so best be on your guard. With Season 8, we are also adding two new alignments for the captains of the Sea of Thieves. Complete the milestones to unlock new trinkets, crests, and other faction-themed cosmetics. And as you build up allegiance with one or both factions, you'll unlock some spectacular rewards for both sides. At Allegiance Level 100, you'll also gain access to special faction-only parts of the Athena's Fortune Tavern, or the Reaper's Lair. So long as you're also a Pirate Legend or Level 75 Reaper, that is. These secret areas offer a number of exclusive rewards, some of which are literally life-changing. The Guardians of Fortune will grant you the blessing of Athena's fortune. Allowing you to take on the look of the various apparitions found within the Sea of Thieves. And if you travel into the Reaper's Lair, far below the Reaper's Hideout, you can take part in a ritual to transform your soft, fleshy body into something altogether less alive and prove once and for all that you were indeed big boned. Explore the Reaper's Lair further and you'll find new characters to interact with, including the Bonesmith, who'll allow you to customise your new style with the various bits and bobs befitting a scornful skeletal crew. And of course, with a new season comes new rewards, with over 100 levels of incredible items to unlock. That includes some slick new clothing options. There's even new emissary rewards. So there's boatloads of shiny new goodies to strive for. And there's also a new plunder pass, available as an optional purchase, where you can unlock some macabre cosmetics crafted on a midnight dreary. With the Ravenwood ship set, and costume. Not only that, but by completing this season's plunder pass, you'll earn 1,000 ancient coins. And there's even more available in the Pirate Emporium. From a ship fit for a king, to a costume perfect for those who are hungry for battle. There's even trinkets to celebrate the games of Rare's past. So pop on in and discover what sparkling surprises I in store. So get ready to earn allegiance for factions of fate, uncover new rewards in never-before-seen locations, and engage in the dramatic PvP action of Sea of Thieves Season 8. <laughs>